Welcome to the recap from Thursday night's race at Michigan Speedway. We had 14 drivers take the green flag on Thursday night. We had six cautions in total. We had a pretty good race up there until the end, and you'll see a little bit more about that later. So let's take a lap around the track with Larry Cole, the driver of the number 43 Super Pretzel car. Okay, we're on Larry's roof right now. He's headed down the back stretch and into turn number three. Closed in on J.R. Price in the number eight. Oh, there's some action up in front of us. Let's see if Larry can get through it. A lot of smoke. Looked like the pizza man into the wall. In the turn two and back down the back stretch. Tonight's starting lineup the pole winner, Gary Moran, in the number 40, Brendan House Chevrolet. Gary had a lap time of 35.80 seconds, a lap speed of 201.078 miles per hour to take the pole. Congratulations, Gary. That's a blistering lap. Okay, on the front row, number 40, Gary Moran. Number 8, J.R. Price in the Amp Chevrolet. Row number 2. And the number 61, Buckshot Dodge, Ralph Polly. Row number 2, the car number 20, the EOR. Samuel Adams Chevrolet, Jeff Trowbridge. Row number 3 in the UPS Ford Fusion, the number 88 of Justin Glassnap. Row number three, the 124 U.S. Marines sponsored Chevrolet of Alan Ebert. Row number four, in the car number 21, the rapid dental repair car of Phil DeFranco. Row number four, car number 43, the super pretzel, Larry Cole. And row number five, the number 75, Red Bridge Chevrolet, Rod Merritts. Ken Walters in the Menards number 27, Chevrolet. Row number six, the Houston Texans sponsored Chevrolet of Richard Hillbrandt. Row number six, the number six, the Brennan House Ford Fusion of Brett Carter. Row number seven, in the 329 Little Caesars Pizza Car, Troy Donahue. And in row number seven, number 112, U.S. Army sponsored Chevrolet of Eddie Raley. Let's go racing, boys. Caution number one comes out of round lap 15 involving the 75 of Rod Merritt's who takes a lazy turn into the grass and then up into the wall. Locks it up and smacks the wall. No others involved. Caution number two comes out of lap 24 involving the 61 of Ralph Polly, the 27 of Ken Walters, and the 329 of Tordani. Ralph has got some wall glue going on. He comes down right onto the 27 and then into the 329. Almost flips over, holds on to it, gets it pointing in the right direction, and heads to pit road for repairs. Caution number three comes out of lap 29 involving the 61 of Ralph Folly. Ralph is still having difficulties finding the grip on the track and spins out in front of a bunch of cars. Let's take a look from perspective of the 329. You see Ralph is getting a little squirrely coming out of the corner. Troy sees nothing but smoke and barely avoids Ralph Polly one more time. 
Caution number four comes out of lap 39 involving the number two of Richard Hildebrandt and the 112 of Eddie Rally. You'll see that uh, the number two just comes up slightly and makes contact with Eddie's car and then loses control and goes nose first into the inside wall. Contact's made and Richard's on in for the ride and hard into the wall. Finally gets it woed up. Still running and pointing in the right direction. Caution number five comes out of lap 63 involving the Amp Chevrolet number eight of J.R. Price, who loses control coming out of the turn and it hits the inside wall. Doesn't bring out the caution flag immediately, but once the car forces itself up to, onto the track, the flag band has no choice but throw the yellow flag. Take a look. JR loses control, slides into the inside wall, makes severe contact. Trying to get it woed up, trying to get it woed up. It won't stop. Slides out towards the track and he locks it down as the 75 and the 329 get by. The fl yellow flag is now thrown. The final caution of the night came out left 68 when uh, the 112 of Eddie Rally and the 43 of Larry Cole made contact. And a host of others are later on involved. Take a look. Larry gets a run to the inside, and there it goes. Larry's on his roof, into the inside wall, on his roof again. The engine expires, and he's out of control. Let's take a look from the perspective of some other drivers. The final perspective of this final caution. We'll take a look from the back side of the 124, the Alan Ebert Marine Chevrolet. You'll see that uh, the accident with uh, Larry Cole and, and Eddie Raley take, take place in front of him. And then let's watch the, as the uh, second part of this caution develops. There's, there's the initial contact. Everybody scrambles. We all get by. Drafting hard on to the 127, and the 124 has to duck down low and collects the 61, who collects the 329 and the 6 car. There's the 6 car and the 88. Now the race is on. We're racing back. Eddie Rally gets by the 329. And the 124 gets by the 329 to take the fifth place for, for Alan Ebert. The most laps led award goes to the driver of the 124 U.S. Marine Chevrolet of Alan Ebert. Alan led a total of 21 laps tonight. The fastest lap of the race goes to Alan Ebert. Alan put down a lap time of 35.71 seconds and a lap speed of 201.281. That's one quick lap for the U.S. Marine Chevrolet of Alan Ebert. The hard charger award goes to the 112 of Eddie Rally. Driving the U.S. Army sponsored Chevrolet. And he increased his positions by nine, starting 14th on the field and finishing fifth. Congratulations. Most damage sustained tonight came at the cost of the 43, the Super Pretzel car by Larry Cole. Larry sustained $338,000 worth of damage to his car. His car was a total loss from, from this one wreck. That's going to leave a dent in Ray Dog's bank account. Finishing fifth in the 124 U.S. Marines Chevrolet Alan Ebert. Finishing fourth in the U.S. Army sponsored Chevrolet the 112 of Eddie Raley. 
Finishing third in the number 20, the AOR, Sammy Adams Chevrolet of Jeff Trowbridge. Finishing second in the Buckshot Dodge, the number 61 of Ralph Polly. And our winner in the number 40, Running House Chevrolet, Gary Moran. Congratulations on your win, Gary. Okay, the pass for the cash comes out at lap 68. The number 40 of Gary Moran is looking to take the lead by passing the number 27, the Bernard Chevrolet of Ken Walters. Take a look. And Gary's off to the races. And you'll see the contact. That's where the yellow comes out at lap 68. And makes it an easy win for Gary Moran. Congratulations on your victory, Gary. Let's watch Gary celebrate his victory with a burnout. Nice job, Gary. We hope you enjoyed the recap from the Michigan race, and we hope to see you next week at, as the AOR Bunch heads to Bristol, Tennessee to take on Bristol Motor Speedway. Don't forget to check out our, us online at AmericaOnlineRacing.com. Don't forget our sponsors at Acme TV DVDs and Vintage Films. Don't forget to stop by and Until check us out online we'll at AmericaOnlineRacing.com. Visit our sponsors of Vintage Films and DVDs and Acme TV DVDs. Until next time, this is the Pizza Man. We'll see you at Bristol.